This week in nerd history, Geraldo strikes out. Nerd history. Al Capone was a notable criminal figure and gangster in Chicago, running gambling, alcohol, and prostitution rackets in the early 1900s. After orchestrating an assassination attempt on former head Johnny Torrio, Capone took control of the Chicago Outfit Organized Crime Syndicate and was placed on the FBI's most wanted list. He was sentenced to prison over income tax evasion in 1931 and died in his home in 1947. Capone had previously housed his headquarters at the nearby Metropole Hotel in Chicago, but in July 1928, moved to a suite in the Lexington Hotel, also in Chicago. Capone ran his various enterprises from this hotel until his arrest in 1931. A construction company in the 1980s planned a renovation of the Lexington Hotel, and while surveying the building, discovered a shooting range and a series of secret tunnels, including one hidden behind Capone's medicine cabinet. These tunnels connected taverns and brothels to provide an elaborate potential escape route in case of police raid. These discoveries led to further investigation of this hotel, notably by researcher Harold Rubin. Rumors said Capone had kept a very secret vault beneath the hotel to hold some of his wealth. On April 21st, 1986, Geraldo Rivera hosted a special live two-hour event called The Mystery of Al Capone's Vaults, which had been greatly hyped as potentially revealing great riches or dead bodies on live television. This included the presence of a medical examiner should bodies be found and agents from the IRS to collect any of Capone's money that might be discovered. When the vault was finally opened, the only thing found inside were dirt and several empty bottles, including one Rivera claimed was for moonshine bath tub gin. After several attempts to dig further into the vault, Geraldo admitted defeat and voiced his disappointment to the viewers, apologizing as he thanked the excavation team for their efforts. Although it gathered criticism and became infamous for its disappointing ending, the program was the most watched syndicated television special that year, with an estimated audience of 30 million people. With this event, Rivera had inadvertently launched a no-news form of news, where instead of reporting on news, entire programs were devoted to possible and hypothetical news. Included in this style of news broadcasting is news channels counting down and hyping up upcoming news events, like a presidential briefing discussing what might be news in the future. That's right, the mind-numbing 24-hour news cycle essentially started when Geraldo Rivera struck out in Al Capone's vault. There was nothing in Al Capone's vault, but it wasn't Geraldo's fault. I'm Radio Matt. See you next time for more. Yeah.